When I went to the altar in Asbury Park when I was about 12, it changed my life. And I've been with the Salvation Army whenever they called ever since. I was just at a service, like I've been to a million of them, and just something said, go to the altar. I knew nothing about the altar, but I went up. And I stayed there a while. And my sister went with me, and when I finally got up and I came back, I felt entirely different. And that was, that was it. Never felt afraid anymore, not once. Yep. And I believe to this day, angels live with me. I've been through four cancers, I'm still going through them. Breast cancer, lymph nodes, cervix, uterus, still going through them. But my captains are great. And uh, when I needed support, they were always there. And uh, I think that pulled me through most of it because I didn't think I was going to make it. So if they can do that for me, I can do that for somebody else. And I will. Yeah. See, everybody knows the Salvation Army in Bayonne and Jersey City. And um, everybody knows me being in the cell without a uniform. I have a lot of kids that call me Ma. Everybody calls me Ma. They know who you are. They respect who you are. Everybody is nice to everybody. Everybody calls you up. They're sweet. And I don't think uh, the city would be that way if the Salvation Army's influence wasn't in that city. But uh, I think the Salvation Army has helped immensely with the tone of the city. My girl gods. I've had them since they were in Sunday school. I had them in Sunbeams. I had them in girl gods. Their mother was very sick. She passed away. She asked me to watch over them before she passed away. And I told her I would do my best to keep an eye on them. Now that's not easy because they got other people in charge of them. But every now and again, I see them at jobs, Sears working as salespeople and everything. And the fact that they're not on the street doing things that they shouldn't be doing, all of them are working, all of them are productive, makes my heart glad. I did something right. And they know they can call me whenever. They have my phone number. Oh, come around. You need to spend the night, fine. Yeah. To me, it's not like any other church. It is a family. It's my extended family.